cool kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. Now, when I say who's the master, you say no no. What is up guys, Show Not The King here, back with another toy review, and today I'm bringing you my review for the Marvel Legends series Infinity Saga, Iron Man Marks 3. It's funny enough, uh, if you guys saw my review from last week of the Iron, Mar Iron Monger and Obadiah Stane, uh, I had a uh, Iron Man Mark 3 that was a third party version, and it just so happens that I want to go into a Target uh, this weekend, and I came across this one, and I was like, hell yes. So I finally got my Mark III from Marvel Legends. I'm excited to get this review started, so let's get into it. So as you can see here, we have the standard Infinity Saga box art. As you can see here, we have the uh, unmasked uh, civilian Tony Stark head. Comes with the regular one. It looks like it comes with rockets. It comes with open palm hands, and I'm not 100% sure what that is yet, but we'll find out shortly. On the sides, the standard Infinity Saga information. On here, it's the quick bio for Tony Stark. You can pause to read it here. Again, nothing on the top or bottom. Let's get this bad boy open. All right, guys, we are back. So I have decided to do something a little bit different. I realized that... Uh, there's been a lot of people who already have reviewed this Iron Man Mark III from Marvel Legends probably about two months ago. So I figured why I keep treading over the same information that you guys have probably already seen from other bigger uh, reviewers. So I decided to do something a little bit different. And I decided to go with doing a versus review because I have not done a versus review in a very long time. And I thought what better opportunity to do a versus review now that I have more than one Iron Man Mark III. If you guys remember, in my Obadiah uh, uh, Iron Monger video, I used this Iron Man as the uh, comparison because that was the only Iron Man Mark III that I had at this time. But lo and behold, like I said at the beginning, I went to a uh, Target over the weekend, and boom, here we have the Infinity Saga Iron Man Mark III. So I figured... Let's go ahead and do a versus review. So what I've done is I have both of these guys side to side, plus all the accessories side to side. We're going to go over both, and we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to give my opinion on which which version do I think is the better Iron Man. So basically the way that I do my versus review, I go over uh, overall sculpt in detail, which includes the paint, the faces, all of that good stuff. Then I talk about articulation. Then I compare accessories, and then I compare overall general look of the of the actual figures, and then I come up with a decision on which one I think is better. Oh, I'm sorry. I also forgot that I also uh, factor in price as well, and extra things like boxes, and I guess that all kind of goes into accessories. All right. So, first things first. Let's take a really good look at the Marvel Legends Iron Man. Because, again, I like to make sure that everybody has a good opportunity to see what these figures have to offer. Now, one thing that I will say that I can tell overall is that the uh, the third-party version... Ha Actually, it's a third-party, but it is officially licensed through Disney Store. So, that is an official... Uh, it's not through Marvel Legends, but it's an official third-party Iron Man. So, again, it's just take that into consideration. Uh, so, again, you can see here they did a really good job with the details in the neck. I uh, love how Marvel Legends went on ahead and made sure that every part of this thing was uh, painted. I love the black here in the neck area. You can see here with the repulsor, this is, a not, this is actually just a sticker. Um, you can also see the eyes are just painted white. Again, overall sculpt, the paneling looks great. I love the gold that they have here. We'll talk about that accessories here. You can get a good shot of the back. Again, his flaps. Overall sculpt and detail look great. Now, uh, one thing, and again, I'll mention this again in um, the articulation uh, department. Uh, this Iron Man does not stand well. Uh, he it, it took a lot of work to get him to stand up straight. Um, and which was very disappointing, but again, maybe it's just my version, but I don't see how, cause just based off of how it is, it just, he tilts backwards. 
and I've made the legs very straight so you can kind of tell here I had to like finagle the legs in order to get them to stand versus the uh, other version here that did not take much uh, finagling to get it to stand. So then now we have the third party Iron Man, which surprisingly is on a seven inch scale, but it actually is a lot lighter than the Marvel Legends figure, which is weird. But as you can see here as well, there is a clear difference <laughs> in detail. I'll do a side by side in a second. But again, you want to see, you can see here the golds. You can see here that this is not painted. This is an actual replica of the arc reactor. It does not light up, unfortunately, but if it did, it would look amazing. And again, as you can see here, there is a uh, white translucent over the eyes, which makes me a little bit upset because I'm like, this thing would have been perfect if it lit, if it lit up. But you can see here on the back, and you can see here, it looks pretty damn good. Like, this is a perfect, a perfect facsimile of what Iron Man looks like in the movie, hands down. So now, I'll put them side by side so you guys can see. And again, it's pretty obvious. Like, if we're talking about overall look, overall scope, the third party Iron Man wins out, in my opinion, with ease. You can see there, see it from the side, see it from the front. And again, he's not much taller. Like he's maybe again, it looks literally like he's like only about an inch taller. So he could still technically get in. He can kind of squeak in with your uh, six inch action figures. Not all of them, but some of them. And um, what I want to do is I want to actually give bonus points to the third party Iron Man because as you can see here, again, I'll bring it up. This is just a standard mold, but on this one, we actually have more detail where the flaps, the wing flaps when he flies, they actually open up. And even on the inside, the detail is painted. So that's an extra bonus point for third-party Iron Man over Marvel Legends. And also, you can see there's a lot more detail in the neck area of the third-party than the Marvel Legends. So if we're talking about overall scope, and again, you can see it here, the chest. Now give Marvel Legends credit. They did uh, paint it somewhat, but this one again just looks perfect like 100% accurate, right down to the gold. All right, so if we're talking about overall scope and look, unfortunately, I'm going to give it to third-party Iron Man, hands down. Now, let's move on to accessories. Let's start with the Marvel Legends first. Uh, we have the standard head sculpt for Iron Man, which looks fantastic. As we can see here before, it looks great, but it also comes with a visor up Tony Stark head sculpt which looks absolutely amazing again Marvel Legends has knocked it out of the park with the photo realistic face scanning that they have been doing recently and this looks amazing let's make sure the focus comes in yeah look at that perfect alright he also comes with open hands Open repulsor hands. Again, we're still talking about the Marvel Legends here. Unfortunately, there is no um, port here that you can kind of put like a blast effect in. It's just a solid. But again, you know, they did a good job with that. And then they also gave us two accessories. First, we have the mini rockets that he used when he took out the little fake Taliban. And again, you can kind of see him can kind of turn and then you just kind of want to bend that arm down a little bit you can kind of shoot the rocket it looks good I like it and then he also comes with a shield and you just want to point that forward if you guys remember in the movie when uh 
Ironmonger was shooting at him with the rockets, he kind of put his arm up and was kind of like shielding himself with the bullet like a shield to protect himself. So that's what that is for. And then the last accessory is just a piece where you switch it out where it can just look normal. So you would just plop this on like that. And it just goes back to normal to match the other one. So again, I think they thought of everything. Now, this Iron Man also comes with a few accessories. He also comes with alternate alternate hands. We have the closed fist hands, and then we also have the repulsor hands that are open. And I want to compare these because I want you guys to kind of understand the difference in detail that's here. Like, again, you can see the intricate paneling, painting of the fingers that Marvel Legends kind of didn't do, but the third-party version did. You see that? And again, just the overall deeper, glossy red matches that Iron Man perfectly. So he comes with a pair of alternate hands, as you can see here. He comes with another pair of open alternate hands, but these ones are blank so that you can add any blast effects, which again, I think is perfect. And I'll show you how those blast effects works in a second. And then he comes with a third pair of hands. Again. Which are more widespread. And then he comes with hand blast effects and feet blast effects. So that's one, two, and one, two. So for and for pieces like effect pieces, uh, if I'm going to be honest, I have to give it to Marvel Legends simply because Marvel Legends did a great job with giving us a regular head and then also giving us an unmasked head. And then they took the time to add the rockets and the shield, which is something that this third party could have done, but they didn't. Again, it is nice to have the, uh, you know, repulsor blast here in his hands. But again, honestly, I think Marvel Legends went far and below above what they could have done. So I definitely have to give accessories to Marvel Legends. So if we're talking about overall scope and paint detail, I will give that to uh, the third party. And then for accessories, I'll give that to uh, Marvel Legends. All right. Let's talk about um, articulation. So first off, let's see here. Iron Man can do full tea spread again. He looks a little weird because it's hard to stand and these shoulder pads do move up, but this one can also do a full tea spread as you can see here, but can also maintain it with, without having to have any issues. Cause again, now that I've pushed his legs together, he'll fall over. Let's see, full T-spreads. All right, this Iron Man also has single jointed elbows, bicep swivel, the head doesn't rotate left to right, but it can look up and down, the waist, can get a little bit of waist articulation here. Knees, double jointed knees, and it can do leg splits. Ankle pivot, no toe hinge, but again, nice stiff joints can get into most of the Iron Man poses. Again, this one. I love the click, full rotation. 
We have, do we have double jointed elbows? Nope, single jointed elbows, just like the other one. No double jointed knees, but it still moves well enough. Very little bit of ankle rocker, no toe pivot, no toe hinge. All right, so again, I think just for the posability, I'm going to give it to the third party Iron Man. Again, this one stands up a little bit better, but this one is superior with articulation, if I must say. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take a quick pause, bring in some size comparison, and then we'll go ahead and get the final verdict. All right, guys, we are back with size comparison. I just decided to bring in just the Iron Monger. Simply because, again, the Iron Monger uh, is the best thing that I wanted to kind of show that looks well against the uh, two Iron Mans. Now, one thing I did want to, that I forgot to mention is that the third party Iron Man did come with a stand and it even has like the Marvel Studios logo on it. So I give them extra bonus points for that. And I will also give extra bonus points for this box. Again, I did an original video for this review for this and you guys can go check that out. But this is the box that the Iron Man Mark III came in. And it has this cool feature where it opens up like this and you can see the inside. And then you can move that out and then it reveals the figure itself. So I gave them, I also give them bonus points for that. And it's magnetic. So you can kind of see that. Premium packaging. And then cost. So cost, this Iron Man is about $30 once you add in taxes. And this Iron Man is about $40 to $50, depending on where you decide to buy it. I believe I paid about $45 or $45 or $50 when I picked this up. Uh, so, again, they're not too far off. There's probably about a $20 difference, which is probably, well, yeah, about a $20 difference between the two. So, honestly, drum roll, my pick is the third-party Iron Man. Now, I will say that it was very, 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 very close. And the only, t if I had to give a reason why it was a tiebreaker, was the fact that this Iron Man can still fit in the six inch displays with other Iron, with other uh, Marvel Legends. If this was a bit taller, I would have given it to this. And again, I'm a little biased because, again, I like to keep things in scale. And most Marvel Legends that I have are in all, are obviously, in the six inch scale. But because he still fits in that scale and he just has like the premium deco. That's the other thing is the paint. Like if you look at this, this is a perfect, I mean a damn near perfect uh, representation of what that, first, that Iron Man Mark III was in that first movie. And even though this is pretty damn close, just you can just tell by the paint alone that they took painstakingly detail in this. So again, even with the actual extra accessories, I'm going to have to give it to the third party Iron Man. But let me know what you guys think. Which one would you get? Comment in the section below. Thumbs up the video. Uh, this is Sean the King. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.